Cookie Swirl. See? <laughs> Today, we are going to create the sweetest and the spookiest house ever. Yes, it's the Wilton Ready to Build Creepin' It Real Chocolate House Kit. Mm hmm yep, and we can actually eat this house. It's basically a gingerbread house, but for Halloween time. This looks so good! Look at all the sprinkles that I'm hopefully gonna be able to put all over it. Maybe cover it with cobwebs. It looks like it comes with a giant spider cookie, too, to just put right on the roof. This gingerbread house I did pick up last year, so it could be a little bit old. I'm not sure about the icing anymore. More, but that makes it kind of fun. So I don't know, it could be a fail video or it could be a success. Let's find out. We're doing this, we're building it right now. Here's everything it comes with. Hopefully nothing is broken on the inside. Oh, it looks good, it looks good. That gingerbread actually looks like it's made out of like a rich chocolate cookie. Look at how small it is. This is actually like a mini gingerbread house. So here's our tray of all the cookie pieces. We've got three bags of icing, piping bags, and on the other side, we have the sprinkles. Those sprinkles are so fun looking. Look at that Halloween mix. Stars, little confetti pieces, silver bones in all different sizes, little skulls and little spiders in there. And there's like little pearl ball pieces too. Let's get out all the cookie pieces. And of course we wanna save the little tray that all the cookie pieces were on because this is how we're gonna support the spooky gingerbread house. Now of course you can use whichever icing you would like as the glue for the house, but it looks like they are suggesting to use the black icing. So I'm just gonna soften up the icing in my hand. I'm also supposed to pour the icing into the little icing piping bag, but I like to just use the pouch that it came in. The first thing I wanna do is ice this spider. Let's give it a squeeze. Okay, hopefully this works. So it should be pretty simple. All I can do is just follow the little indented outline that's already in the gingerbread cookie. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. A little clumpy, it's not completely smooth. Let's put two little candy dots on its eyes. Okay, spiders have eight eyes, so I put eight little candy balls. There we go, maybe a little star on its body. Come on, that looks delicious. Now let's build the gingerbread house for it to crawl all over. All right, I got all my pieces here. I'm actually gonna go on with the purple icing instead of the black. I'm gonna ice the edges. Okay, there's one side of the house. Okay, that was easy, almost too easy. I think it really helps that the little gingerbread house is so small and petite, so hopefully it won't crumble. Now, before putting the roof on, I think I'm just gonna decorate it. So I'm gonna ice the front. I don't know if this is the type of icing that can easily kind of spread over the gingerbread house. See how they were able to easily coat the whole entire gingerbread house in that black and purple icing? I'm thinking this is more of like a decorating icing, so it's not very smooth when I try to squeeze it out. See what I mean? I guess I could carefully take a knife and try to smooth it out, but I feel like that's gonna be a lot of work. But we'll go for it. Yeah, just like I thought, this is more of like a piping icing and not a building on icing. It's just kind of clumping away. Okay, I think we need to move to plan B. I'll finish icing the front of the house and then we're gonna pipe it with the purple to hopefully create like a purple frosted trim around the edge. Okay, that did not go on very easily, but that's okay. We're gonna cover it up now with purple icing and spider webs. While the icing is wet, I'm gonna apply the candies. I would like to put a spider web on the door, but the icing for the cobwebs does look a little dry. Yeah, it's not even squeezing up, but to be fair, I actually bought this gingerbread kit last year. Just add a little black icing and attach a doorknob. I'm gonna do the same thing to the sides. I'm gonna just try to cover it with the black icing, add some sprinkles. It looks like it's falling in a little bit. No, I don't think it can handle the pressure of it. That is definitely collapsing. Okay, I don't wanna put any more pressure on the side walls, so we'll just put some windows. Now we got the front done, side windows. We'll put a window in the back. So cute, that looks so cute. Now we have to work on the roof. So I'm gonna add in the lines on the roof. Now I'm gonna apply this giant spider cookie and now cover it with sprinkles. Oh, the icing already hardened. I have to place all the sprinkles by hand. In the sprinkles mix, I found two of these tiny little black spider sprinkles. So I'm just gonna glue them randomly on the side of the house. Maybe one is trying to crawl into the window and one of them's on the back of the house. Now I'm gonna use up the rest of the icing. All right, the gingerbread house is complete for Halloween. I think it looks really delicious. Oh, we should put a little pathway leading up to the door. Oh, maybe I can do a black spider web actually. So here's the pathway. No, the house is falling apart! Oh, no, no, I have to fix it. It's okay, I have enough icing. Too much 
icing. It's way too much icing. Okay, I kind of got it back together. The icing is a little old. I should have added a little bit of some water to kind of revive it a little bit. Okay, it's okay now, it's okay. I revived it, <gasps> it looks fine. Look at all these sprinkles I still have left too. Okay, well, we did it. We made it. I told you this could be a fail. Fail or no fail, it does not change how fun it is to build a gingerbread house. Love the spooky take on this one. Perfect for Halloween. I love the giant spider on it. I love that it's really small and mini. Okay, it looks really cute from all angles. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let me know if you build a gingerbread house, whether it's for Christmas time or one of the other holidays or just any other day. You can have a gingerbread house anytime. There's no rules. The only rule is you need to have fun. I'm wishing you a sugary sweet day and I will see you in my next video. Bye cookie fans.